Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand the process of viewing edit logs for transactions and masters in Tally Prime release 2.1 onwards. You may be a chartered accountant who manages accounts of various companies or you may be having multiple companies some of which do not fall under the purview of Ministry of Corporate Affair or MCA's audit trail compliance requirement. However, you like to track activities in your company's financial data. You can use Tally Prime Release 2.1 or its successors that enables you to track the modifications or alterations in your financial data using the edit log feature. Let us see how to enable edit log in Tally Prime Release 2.1 and its later versions. Press Alt K or click Company Alter. In the Company Alteration screen, press F12. Enable Set Edit Log Applicability by setting the option as Yes. Press Ctrl A to save. As you can see, the Enable Edit Log is set to Yes. Press Ctrl A to save the changes. Henceforth, Tally Prime will track all the activities in transactions ledgers, stock items, and ledger or accounting groups. Moreover, if the voucher numbering method in any voucher type is set to automatic, then the method will change to automatic manual override. However, voucher numbers will remain intact. A change in voucher number due to the change of date to an older date, insertion, or deletion creates an edit log. Changing the voucher number method to automatic manual override ensures that the voucher number does not change and edit log does not get created for the affected vouchers. You can however change the method of voucher numbering back to automatic if needed. Now let us see how to view edit log for transactions. In Tally Prime with edit log enabled. The facility to view edit log is provided for all vouchers entered in the data. You can drill down to the respective transaction from Daybook and then view edit log. Open Daybook, press Alt G, type or select Daybook and press Enter. Press F2 to change the date if needed. Press Ctrl B or click Basis of Value. Press Enter on show report for. This facility is provided in Daybook and other ledger voucher reports in Tally Prime with edit log enabled. As you can see, you can view Daybook for altered vouchers, non-altered vouchers and all vouchers. It may be possible that your auditor wants to view only the altered vouchers to view their alteration history. Let us view Daybook for only altered vouchers. If you do not want to view the deleted vouchers, then you can press Enter on Include Deleted Vouchers to set it as No. Now press Ctrl A to save the setting. As you can see, all the altered and deleted vouchers are displayed. Now move the cursor to the voucher for which you want to view Edit Log and press Enter. Press Alt Q to view edit log. As you can see, the versions are listed in descending order with the details of activity that was performed by a specific user. Furthermore, the date and time at which the activity was performed is specified. Move the cursor to any version and press enter. Let's say you want to view details of edit log for the latest version. Press enter and the report Differences between edit log versions appears. You can view the older version on the left hand side and the newer version on the right hand side. This enables you to know the details of all activities performed in the voucher. Now press F12 and you can configure the report further. If you set show altered values only as yes, then you will be able to view the alteration history of only values that were changed, such as party account, cost of an item, 
date and others press control a to save the setting you can now view the altered values in the report displayed in red text now if you press f12 and set show configuration based value such as yes or no or change from blank to not applicable or primary as yes then you will view the changes related to f12 configurations of the voucher and other values selected by you set show internal fields updated by the application to yes only if you want to view the internal fields that get updated by the application as a result of alteration press control a to save the setting as you can see if you had altered a particular configuration such as provide buyer's details or one on negative stock balance then the report will display the same in red text press page down and page up to move between pages of the report press alt f5 to view the detailed report you can also press shift enter on a line to view more details press plus key and the report will display older versions press minus key then the report will display the newer versions similarly you can view edit log and the details of difference between the versions of any voucher in your data now let us see how to view edit log for masters in tally prime with edit log enabled the facility to view edit log is provided for ledgers stock items and ledger or accounting groups this is because alteration of only these masters have an impact on your financial data you can drill down to the respective master from chart of accounts and then view edit log you can also view the edit log from the master alteration screen open chart of accounts press alt g type or select chart of accounts and press enter let's open for ledgers press control b or click basis of values press enter on show report for this facility is provided in chart of accounts in tally prime with edit log enabled as you can see you can view chart of accounts for altered ledgers non altered ledgers and all ledgers you may want to view only the altered ledgers to view their alteration history let us view chart of accounts for only altered ledgers if you do not want to view the deleted ledgers then you can press enter on include deleted ledgers to set it as no press control a to save the setting as you can see all the altered and deleted ledgers are displayed now move cursor to the ledger for which you want to view edit log and press enter press alt q to view edit log as you can see the versions are listed in descending order with details of activity that was performed by a specific user furthermore the date and time at which the activity was performed is specified move the cursor to any version and press enter let's say you want to view details of edit log for the latest version press enter and the report differences between edit log versions appears You can view the older version on the left hand side and the newer version on the right hand side. This enables you to know the details of all the activities performed in the ledger. Now, press F12 and you can configure the report further. If you set show altered values only as yes, then you will be able to view the alteration history of only values such as GST type ledger state name duty type and others that were changed press control a to save the setting you can now view the altered values in the report displayed in red text now if you press f12 and set show configuration based value such as yes or no or change from blank to not applicable or primary as yes then you will view the changes related to f12 configurations of the ledger 
and other values selected by you. Set show internal fields updated by the application to yes only if you want to view the internal fields that get updated by the application as a result of alteration. Press Ctrl A to save the setting. If you had altered a particular configuration such as provide buyer's details or warn on negative stock balance, then the report will display the same in red text. Press page down and page up to move between pages of the report. Press Alt F5 to view the detailed report. You can also press Shift plus Enter on a line to view more details. Press plus key and the report will display older versions. If you press minus key, then the report will display the newer versions. Similarly, you can view edit log and the details of difference between the versions for any ledger, stock item or accounting group in your data. Now let us see how to disable edit log. Let us consider that you want to stop tracking the activities that affect your financial data. You will need to disable edit log for the same. Press Alt K or click Company, Alter. Set Enable Edit Log to No. As you can see, Tally Prime displays a message which says that the tracking of activities will be stopped if you disable edit log. However, the edit logs that were recorded will be retained and you can view those logs when you enable the feature again. Press Y to proceed. Press Ctrl A to save the settings. Henceforth, Tally Prime will stop tracking the activities in vouchers, ledgers, stock items and accounting groups until you enable edit log again. When you enable the facility again, you will get a message. Press Alt K or click Company, Alter. Set Enable Edit Log to Yes. As you can see, Tally Prime displays a message which says that Tally Prime will start tracking the activities. Press Y to proceed. Press Ctrl A to save the settings. Henceforth, Tally Prime will start tracking the activities in vouchers, ledgers, stock items and accounting groups until you disable edit log. Now, let us see how to view the activities related to edit log. As a chartered accountant or company admin, you may want to view the activities related to edit log. For instance, there may be multiple users in your organization and you may want to view who all enabled or disabled the edit log feature in your company. Press Alt K or click Company. Go to Edit Log and press Enter. You can see all the activities that affect the Edit Log feature with versions listed in the descending order. You can also identify the user who performed the activity on a particular date and time. This helps you have a control over the Edit Log activities and ensure a consistent practice and well-informed decision-making related to Edit Log in your organization. Now, let us see how to implement security control for edit log. You may want to allow or disallow a set of persons to view edit log. For instance, you may want users with certain designations to create the voucher but restrict them from viewing edit log. You can implement security control for the same. Press Alt K or click Company, Security and then press Enter. Set Control User Access to Company Data to Yes. Enter the username and password. Press Ctrl A to save. Now press Alt K or click Company, User Roles and press Enter. Consider that you want to disallow users from viewing edit logs. Under Disallow the following facilities, add the facility. For example, you want to disallow this user from accessing accounting vouchers. Select type of access based on your requirement. Consider you want to allow this user to create vouchers but not view edit log. Under type of access, select display. Select vouchers from the list of reports. 
press control A to save the setting. The user will not be able to view edit log for the vouchers. Similarly, you can implement other security controls as needed. As you saw, in Tally Prime release 2.1, you have a facility to enable edit log when needed, so that you view edit log for transactions, ledgers, stock items, and accounting groups. You can disable edit log whenever you want Tally Prime to stop tracking all the activities. Moreover, you can keep an eye on all the activities related to edit log and restrict a few users from viewing edit log as required. To know more about features of Tally products, visit help.tallysolutions.com.